announcements for February 2nd, 2021. I'm Brian Tuma. And I'm Flynn Robertson. We have started our Richwoods Black History Month Jeopardy playoffs. Each day on the morning announcements, you have an opportunity to compete to earn your spot on the Richwoods Black History Month Jeopardy challenge. We will read clues to who a person is, and you will text and log into the web page to enter your answer. Everyone who submits a correct answer within the time frame will earn one point. The two individuals with the highest number of points at the end of the playoffs will square off in a Jeopardy match that will be broadcast to the school on February 26th. A leaderboard will be shared with the student body regularly. Prizes will be awarded. All right, contestants, get out your phone, power up your stream. At the end of the announcements, we will give you the link for the website or for texting in your answer. Only one answer per student per day is allowed. Now, there were no correct answers for yesterday's trivia. The answer was, who is Ernie Banks? Banks was considered Mr. Cub. Ernie Banks was born on January 31st, 1931 in Dallas, Texas. At the age of 10, Ernie was already playing baseball. Fresh out of high school, he signed with the Kansas City Monarchs in 1950. After MLB scouts recognized his skills and potential, he was signed to the Chicago Cubs in 1953, where he played for 19 years. Banks had a lot of love for the game and left a legacy that helped the public accept African-American baseball players that was known for his famous catchphrase, it's a beautiful day for a ball game, let's play too. The yearbook will be turning in final numbers to the printer for the number of yearbooks to be printed. Don't miss out, order your yearbook today. See Dr. Kearns with questions. No extra books will be ordered. Valentine's bags are being filled with for 85 residents of a nursing home in Washington. If you would like to drop off a valentine from a Richwoods friend, it would be greatly appreciated. Donations may be dropped at Mrs. Fun Cannon's office by Friday, February 5th. Credit recovery will meet in the computer lab number 183 and will be available after school from 12.45 p.m. through 2.45 p.m. for students who want to stay and work on their credit recovery. Any boy interested in playing soccer this upcoming spring, please plan to attend an informational meeting on Friday, February 5th at 1 p.m. This meeting will be on Microsoft Teams. If you have not received an invite, you must contact Coach Elsfelder so you can be added. All A students may attend in person. Freshman and sophomore A students should meet in room 262. Junior and senior A students should all meet in room 406. All B students should attend via Teams. Once again, if you haven't received an invite on Teams, contact Coach Elsfelder. And now for your moment of silence. To join the Richwoods Black History Trivia, log on to polev.com slash rnews455 to join. Once you have joined, please enter your name. On the web, in the answer to the trivia question, who is blank? Text 37607. R News 455 to join. If texting, enter your name in response with who is. This person started a popular daytime talk show in the 1980s that became a cultural phenomenon. She established her own television and film production companies and her media entertainment empire made her one of the richest and most influential women in the United States. These have been your announcements for February 2nd. I'm Flynn Robertson. And I'm Brennan Tuma. Stay safe out there, Richwoods. Yeah.